What's up, y'all? What's up? Okay. So I figured I was going to talk to y'all today. What's up? But first of all, let me just say, I hope y'all having like a really great day. Girl, first let me drink some water. So girl, what's up? What's up? Hope y'all all having like a really good day. I said, you know what? That's what I said to myself. Girl, I'm going to come on here and I'm going to chit chat with y'all because I got some things that I need to show y'all real quick. And I figured what best way to do it is to chit chat with y'all because I mean like, who y'all is going to talk to this early in the morning or this early in the afternoon whenever you're watching this video, okay? Yes, let's just get that out the way. I've been working all week. When I say I've been working all week, I have been doing stuff all damn week, okay? And let me tell y'all, normally what I do throughout the week, like throughout the day, throughout the week, Monday through Friday, is sit at my computer and edit a video or record some videos. I do both, okay? Because I try to make the most out of my time. But this week, I haven't done anything but record videos because I'm really trying to have my Saturdays and Sundays to myself. Like, you know, leave, wear my, wear my moo, moo all day long, not do shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, stuff like that, like sit around and be a bum. That's what I, that's what I really be wanting to do. But sometimes it doesn't end up that way. So I figured Monday through Friday, I'm going to record videos and edit them. Okay, but all this week, I have not been able to edit a video because I've been so busy. You know when you think you look good, like you just you just, you just, just feel like you look good, right? You say to yourself, okay, girl, you're looking good in that. You look really, really nice in that outfit that you put together. That's the feeling that you should have about yourself, right? At least that's what I'll be feeling. And then, you know, you posing in the mirror, you taking your flicks, you think that they look good. And then when you go back to looking at them, they are not what you expected. Like, seriously, they are not what you expected. It could be like 20 pictures of the same outfit and you definitely are not feeling it. Let me just tell y'all this. When I do a try on haul, I really be trying to look my best. You know, I be look, trying to look cute. You know what I mean? I be trying to look a little bit slimmer than what I am. Okay. Shit like that. I really be trying my best. Sometimes I got to suck it in. I got to suck it in. Even, even though the shapewear... I have on, might be doing some work, honey, it ain't compressing enough. I need that shit to compress so much that a girl can't breathe, that bitch can't breathe, okay? I need it to compress so much that you can see my lungs. I spent my whole entire Monday doing some try on. I have four um, campaigns that I have to do. So the first one that was really needed to be done. So, you know, I, I ironed the clothes the night before. I ironed all the clothes for all the campaigns because I don't like doing no try ons with no, no wrinkled clothes. And I figured, you know what? I'm going to put back on my RPG show wig because I look real cute in that. This is what I said to myself. I'm not hairsprayed it down. Girl, when I tell you, the only thing I had down was the size. Girl, this is why I always try to do a try on with just a ponytail, okay? With just a ponytail because you know why? With a ponytail, I ain't got to worry about being hot. I ain't got to worry about... um. My sides, my edges flapping up. I ain't got to worry about none of that. None of that. So I really prefer doing a ponytail. I hate when that happens. Hold on, girl. Yes, babe. When you take the thing off, you see the little white residue. So I had to, you know, I got to hook it back up. So anyway, you know, I figured I would wear that wig and I would do my video, okay? I would do my video and I would wear that wig. That's just what I said to myself. Girl, I was posing. One of the dresses, like, took me out. Why did it take me, like, 10 minutes to get the dress to look just, just right, okay? When I say just right, it was one of those wrap dresses. Girl, that, that thing was wrapping on my nerves. When I tell you wrapping on my nerves, it was wrapping on my nerves. But anyway, my wig was flapping up. I had to end up putting some sunglasses on top of the hairline because I was sweating. Honey, when I tell you it was a hard task, it was a hard task. But I felt like I got through it. Why do I look so pale on this video right here? Well, you know what? I'm a, if this is really not, well, this is supposed to be a makeup tutorial, but not a makeup tutorial. Like, we're about to try some products out. I'm going to definitely spruce it up. This the one thing I'm going to tell y'all, though, about me, in case y'all didn't know. I hate to wear makeup. Like, I literally do not like wearing makeup. Even though you see me putting it on, I just never felt like I was that good at it, okay? Especially for my own self. Like, if it could take a person 20 to 30 minutes to do their eyebrows, then, honey, it's not for you. Just wear your own natural eyebrows. But I've gotten the hang of this. How they look? How they look? This thing today, for today, it did not take me that long. I don't know why I'm looking so pale in this video, but you know, it is what it is. Hold right, on, so I'll put y'all on a different angle. You know, I had did this video all day on Tuesday. I tried on all these clothes. Now, mind you, when you when you are a plus size girl, it's hell ch to change your clothes over and over again. Like, I really don't like to constantly keep changing my clothes. That's why when I go to the store and I got to try on something, baby, I'm not trying it on in the store. I'm going to take it home. And if it don't fit, then I'm just going to have to bring it back. That, that'd be me, okay? Because once I put my clothes on for the day, they stay on until it's time to go take a shower for the night so anyway I, I tried on all these outfits and the girl really did think she looked cute even though the wig was giving me issues because i was sweating and stuff and the wig just kept lifting up and it just was making me hotter and hotter 
and I was sucking it in. I was trying to do my sexy model walk, even though it's not like really a sexy model walk. It's probably more or less like a sexy waddle. Okay. But anyway, I was doing all of that. And then I look at the pictures later on and I'm like, girl, why you look like that? What, what are you doing? Girl. Oh my God, girl. No. I said, you know what? I'm going to just slick me down a ponytail because that's why y'all see me in a lot of my try-ons rocking a ponytail. It'd be too hot to constantly keep changing your clothes when you like plus size. Like nobody wants to keep changing their clothes. Plus you constrict it with shapewear on, which makes you even hotter. So wearing a wig is just not something that you should do. So now here I am, I done got the slick down ponytail. So if I leave this video real quick for a few minutes, it's only because my girl, she getting groomed right now. You know what I'm saying? You know my boo thing, Panty Cakes, my dog. She is in the mobile grooming van because they come every other month and they groom her. Somebody need to come groom me, okay? Somebody really needs to come groom me every other month. So here I am anyway, I gotta do this whole entire video all over again, all over again. And then I forget to mention, this video is being sponsored by She Glam, okay? They sent me some stuff we gonna try out for this video, like some lip balm. Don't forget to call Dr. Rachel. Tati texted me to call Dr. Rachel. Okay, Tati always in my business. I love my daughter to death. She's so, she's so caring, but sometimes she be just too caring. Like, girl, let me do this. See, I love her to pieces. She really be looking out for me. And I will remember to call Dr. Rachel. So She Glam, they sent me this stuff we gonna try out. Now, you know, like I said, lip balm. Y'all know my lips be ashy as hell sometimes. They be dry looking. They sent me three of them. Now, they must know my color is pink. I love pink. For some reason, I just cannot do red. But they sent me three of these. We're going to try them out. And they also sent me some nose contour sticks. They sent you me. You want to show off? You want to show off? Yeah, come here. You look so cute. Come here. Say hi, everyone. She puts a tie on her. Okay, she does. She puts a tie on her. This is, this is the second time she didn't put a tie on her. Did she leave your lashes? She did leave your lashes. Because I hate when people cut your lashes off. Because then you know how I feel about lashes. Look, everyone. Watch, watch, watch. You going to be mad at me for the day? She going to be mad at me. You going to be mad at me for the day? You're not going to be mad at me for the day, huh? Say hi. I'm going to do this chit chat because, of course, I'm getting ready to do another try on. When I tell y'all I'm ready to do another try on, it's going to be the same damn try on that I already did on Tuesday. I'm going to retry everything out. Now, let me tell y'all, since I don't really like to do makeup, I found out this really, really cool trick. I don't really know if it's a trick or not, but I was watching these videos. You know how you see all these ads, right? And they be like trying to sell you stuff. So they say that more mature women, I don't want to say older because, you know, girl about to be 50. So I'm going to just say I'm more mature, okay, than some. But they say that us more mature women, we should never try to wear liquid concealer because it just gets cracked in crevices up under our eyes. And, you know, I find that to somewhat be true. Every time I do put on some liquid concealer, it just don't ever work out for me. Why is her hair all over me? But I love this stuff by She Glam. When I put this stuff on, it works really, really good. Like, I swear by it. It's it's not, it's, it is is liquid but it ain't as liquid as most you know what i mean and i just really do like this stuff you know how you have makeup and it starts getting old and it starts smelling and stuff like it smells like crayons or whatever this does not do that i don't know but this is some good concealer i will definitely give their she glam concealer uh 10 plus okay so anyway let me tell y'all some fun something funny okay no, first of all, let me just tell y'all this. Asking y'all politely, because I'm polite, would y'all please go to my Amazon baby registry? I will provide the link down below. I'm having grandchild number six. Can y'all believe that? My kids are really trying to, to age me. My daughter-in-law is pregnant with their fourth son. Baby number four. Yes, all they have is boys. I'm gonna have five grandsons and one little badass granddaughter. She's cute and everything, but she is definitely a drama queen. So anyway, my daughter-in-law is pregnant with baby number four, a little boy, and I'm trying to help her out by giving her a virtual baby shower like we did for Tato. I wanna help her out and I want to give her a baby shower so that way she doesn't stress out so much what she needs. My son will be leaving to do his bid for probably a three to four, on May 2nd. I have to drive him to Cali. He has to turn himself in. Do you understand how hard that's going to be for me? Like, I'm really, really am disappointed. Like, I don't want to make this video about him, but I just want to tell you guys, I'm really disappointed. So I'm trying to get things in order for her. So that way she'll be at peace. Please check out my baby registry. I'll provide the link down below for you guys. All I ask for you is to just support the baby registry. Nothing on there is overly priced. I wouldn't dare do that to myself. So why would I do that to you guys? And you, all you all you gotta do is buy just one thing. That's all I ask for you guys. That's it. 
just like that. So anyway, we gonna do this makeup, try on or whatever. Let me tell you something funny. So my cousin and me, you know, I always talk about my cousin. She and I are so, so super close and I still have friends in New York that I'm really, really close with. So one of my friends from New York calls me the other day. We chit chat. We don't speak like every day, but we will talk. And when we talk, we will talk for some hours. She my age, of course. She telling me how, you know, she like, girl, why when you get rid of them and you, you finally get rid of them and it's been some years since she got rid of him, why do they always try to come back to you? You know what I'm saying? Like, you mess up and they decide they want to come back to you. She like, I cannot get rid of my ex-boyfriend for the life of me. Like, girl, we've been broken up now for like seven years. He then went on and like moved on, found himself a little girlfriend, broke up with her, got another girlfriend, broke up with her, but he still keep calling me. I said, girl, let me tell you something. And it was so funny that she said that because like I said, we don't speak all the time. So I didn't even get the opportunity to tell her this. Um, but it was funny because I was able to tell my cousin Kenya this story because she and I were talking about the same thing like a few weeks back. So she's telling me how he's texting her and calling her. And I'm like, girl, just block him. Just just block him. She was like, well, you know, he's my ex. Our kids. I said, y'all kids is grown. Y'all, y'all kids is grown. I think her kids is probably like 23, 24, 20, and like 15. That's grown to me, okay? So there really isn't no need to talk to him like that. Um, He could just communicate with the kids because I'm pretty sure they all got a cell phone. So she like, girl, would you block him? I said, listen, listen, man, what I tell you? I will block anybody. I don't give a damn who you are. I will block you. You could be my brother, my sister, my father, my cousin. You getting blocked. You will get blocked if you disrespect me. So I had to tell her about the story. And I'm going to tell y'all the story real quick. Now, y'all know my ex, my ex-husband, my ex, okay? You know we got divorced when I moved here. I divorced him. And then we got back together. Okay, let me take a sip of this water because it's about to be some tea. So, you know, we got back together. And like what? In 2020, his mom passed away. He went back to New York and he decided he didn't want to come back because he wanted to stay there for his sister. You know, I try to be the bigger adult sometimes, a lot of the times in any situation. Like, I try to give everybody grace. I try to give everybody the benefit of the doubt. Because, I mean, like, listen, people fuck up in life. That's just what people do. And sometimes you got to just give them grace and just be like, okay, you know what? I'm going to just, I'm going to just, I'm going to give them another chance. You don't have to give them another chance at being friends or being in a relationship, but you can give them another chance at communicating with you because you got some things in common with your children, right? So I've, I've done that already. And then I had to block him. And y'all know I had to block him because you're not going to drunk call me. I'm not putting up the nonsense. I'm telling her the story about how a month ago, a month ago, I think it was about a month ago, maybe a little bit over a month ago, I had to end up re-blocking my ex-husband slash ex-boyfriend because he was my husband. I divorced him and we got back together, but we wasn't married anymore. So you know what I'm saying? It's a wild wind story, but girl, just stay on board. Okay, just stay on board. So I've, I've been blocked him because you're not about to call me up all hours of the night. Like literally you calling me up all hours of the night, like 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, Past eight, you're, it's not acceptable. I'm not going to keep declining your call. I'm just going to block you, right? So I had him on the block thing for a while. And something ha something happened. Something good happened for my daughter, Mumsy, our daughter, Mumsy. So I figured, okay, let me share the good news with him. Now, I didn't think about it. When I seen that he called me, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm blocked him. Now, y'all probably think, trying to figure out how the fuck did you know he was calling you if you blocked him? I'm about to tell y'all. And you should definitely get this um, app because it's so worth it. So I have this app. It's called Robo Killer, okay? And no, I'm not promoting it. I mean, I'm going to tell you about it. You can go ahead and get it if you want to. It's amazing. I bought it. I paid for it. Only because scammers and telemarketers be calling me left and right. And I get tired of answering calls all day long for bullshit. So I've been using this app for three years. Now, this year, I don't really know if I want to renew my, my vows with it. Because, girl, it went from $20, $40. And then I seen the renew for May. And it said $80. Oh, hold up. A bitch ain't paying that much. $80. Um, mm, I might just want to, I don't know, but it's a really good app. It will block everybody. Now it'll block, I block him on my phone. Okay. But the cool thing about when you block somebody in your contacts, of course you don't see them calling you. You'll never see that. But if you have robo killer, you can see whoever you block is calling you. So he called me one day and it was blocked, but robo killer will pop up and it'll say he's calling. Okay. It's not that I can answer it. It just goes straight to the voicemail, but it'll tell you. And I'll show you a screenshot of this. Go show you a screenshot, a screen recording of how many times he's called that day. So, you know, I'm sitting here and I think I was, what was I doing that day? I remember I was editing a video when he called, right? And I seen robo killer popped up and it showed his name one time and it just went straight to voicemail. It didn't even go to voicemail. It went to Robo Killer's voicemail. It's actually, it will not go to my iPhone's voicemail. It will go to Robo Killer's voicemail and you can hear the message there, but you're not going to get any notifications from iPhone, but you will get a notification from Robo Killer. Even though you blocked them on your contact list, it'll show up in Robo Killer and it won't let the call go through because it's already shown it's blocked, but it's cool because it'll let you know that that person is still calling. Whatever. So I said, you know what? I'm going I'm to unblock him for a second because I want to tell him the good news about our daughter, Mumsy, what her GPA score. I unblock him 
Okay? I call. Mind you, him and my son, Jerron, they've been communicating with one another. And my son told me that. I don't care if you communicate with him. You're a grown-ass man. You can communicate with whoever you want. But just leave me out of it. That's all I ask is leave me out of it. I don't care if he told you to tell me hi. Don't tell me a goddamn thing. Because I don't want to be involved in it. I don't want to be reeled into it. I don't want to have no parts of it. So anyway, I call and I'm trying to tell him about it and didn't even get a chance or opportunity. Okay? Because he starts talking about how have I been? How's the kids? Okay, that's cool. Let's start it off like that. Then he starts talking about how he's been he stopped drinking for like i don't know how long but in my mind i'm saying first before i even say anything you know you a goddamn lie because you're drunk right now i can hear it in your voice like you know you can tell when somebody's drunk especially if you really know them but i let it all slide i just let him keep telling me that so then he starts telling me about how he worked his job he's a contractor or um electrician um he works seven days a week, 12 hour shifts. Who the fuck works seven days a week, 12 hours, seven days a week and how he make all this money. And I'm like, that's good for you. That's good. That's good. Now I'm getting irritated because I don't know why the hell you telling me all of this. Nigga, you don't send no child support over here. Nigga, you don't send no money over here. You don't send nothing. You don't ask if your daughters need anything. So I don't really understand what's the point of you telling me all of this on the phone. Like I get two damn fucks. So he still keep going on about it. And I'm like, okay, well, listen. I, and he's still talking about how he ain't drunk. He done repeated this 12-hour shift seven days a week to me like five times already within three minutes, okay? I don't know if he realizes I'm not interested in it. I don't care. So I'm like, listen, you're drunk. You, 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 you're drunk. Um, I'll speak to you another time. He was like, I ain't drunk. I ain't drunk. Whatever. Make a long story short. He keeps going on and on. And I'm like, well, listen, I'll let you go. I'll let you go. I didn't even get to tell him about Mumsy, okay? He starts talking about how much he loved me and um, how much he missed me and all of this. And I'm like, listen, did you really want to talk to me about that? Because... Don't you got some girl in the background? I hear I hear a female's voice in the background yelling for his name. John, John. Meanwhile, you telling me you love me. And then I can hear her in the background talking about who you on that phone with? Who you on the phone with? Now, listen, I ain't here to mess up nobody's relationship because I could care less. But I just find it disrespectful. Like, don't do that. Don't do that to her. OK, she can have you. I don't want you. I just wanted to share some good information. And why would I even want to share that with him? I don't know. I just think I think I was trying to be the bigger adult in the situation. OK, but anyway, so I said, you know what? Your girlfriend is calling you and you, you are real disrespectful to be telling me you love and miss me on the phone while you got her in the background. That's real disrespectful. I'm going to let you go. Go ahead to your girlfriend. Oh, what? She is what she is to me. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. But what do you think she would think of you being drunk on the phone talking to me like that? Oh, my girl think I'm all that. Oh, you want to talk to her? Let me tell you. She'll tell you I'll go hard. I go hard for mine. I'm like, did you just really say all of this to me? Like, I don't really care about your girl. I said, listen, you have a great effing day. Please don't call my phone no more. Enjoy yourself. I'm blocking you now. Girl, when I tell you I blocked him so damn quick, I blocked him so quick, okay? I re-blocked him real quick. Please tell me why. You know, I put my phone down. Girl, why did this motherfucking ninja, this fool, call my phone back to back? I thought it was 20 times. No, no, bitch. He called my phone 30 times in a row. Who was calling you 30 times in a row? I'm like, yeah, seriously, I'm going to show you guys. 30 times in a row. That makes no effing sense to call anybody. I wouldn't care how drunk I was. If I had some pride and dignity, I would not call you more than twice. Okay? Like, seriously, who would you call him 30 times? Meanwhile, I can hear your voicemails. And I'm just, like, hearing you going off, talking about, I love her and all. Like, just disrespectful. Just disrespectful. I try to be the bigger person and, you know, share the good news. But sometimes it's just it's best to be the petty person, you know. I'm going to just leave you on block for the rest of your life. That's just that's what it is. I, why should I even share any good news with you about my daughter? You don't support her. You know what I'm saying? So I'm telling my friend this on the phone. Like She was like, wait, he called you how many times? Bitch, he called me 30 times in a row. She couldn't believe me. I had to send her the screen recording. And she was wild. Like, so believe me when I tell you, girl, it happens all the time. And when it was funny because me and my cousin Kenya... We on the phone like a few weeks prior to the conversation with me and my friend from New York. And we talking about the same effing thing. How her ex-man that she was married to and been divorced from, God, probably like 10, 15 years now. He's sending messages because he's in jail um, from jail to somebody else to get to her about how he done had a heart attack or a stroke. Why would she care? Why would she care? You in jail again because you was harassing some other female. Why would she care? Like, seriously, why would she care? And it sucks when you have to not care about the person. Like, I don't really care about your well-being. I don't really care about your health. I don't really care about you. That's the sad thing about it. When you have to put yourself 
in that predicament to just not care about a person. Like, who wants to feel like that? But, yeah. I try to be the bigger person. And when she and I was talking, she was like, so what do you suggest? Block his ass. You know what I mean? You ain't got to talk to him. Listen, that's why my ex be trying to send messages through my son. Because he's on block. Stop telling him to say hi to me. You know what I had to tell him after all those 30 messages? Oh, I did. I did text him. But... I hurried up and texted him and then blocked him once I seen it was delivered. Because, listen, I said, consider me dead. Don't ever call me. Don't ever reach out to me for the rest of your life. I don't care if I'm the last person on this earth. Don't you ever reach out to me again. Never. Okay? Consider myself dead to you. Do not send any messages through my son. Do not. I am dead to you. And I don't really want to be dead to anybody, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just got to be the bigger, pettier person. And I don't know if you want to call it being bigger or pettier, but why are you sitting here telling me about you work seven days a week, 12 hour shifts, and you didn't contribute no money to your kids over here? Like, I care. Girl, listen. Girl, bye. Men is a trip. People are a trip, okay? People in general are a trip. And did y'all notice that my hair has grown? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that ponytail. Yes, girl. Yes. This is not how I'm aware for the video. Girl, you already know. I'm prepared. I'm prepared right here, y'all. I'm prepared. I had to tell her. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, they um, they will continuously harass you, girl. Sometimes you just got to block them and you got to block them for the rest of your life. It's like blocking your blessings if you if you continuously talk to them and, and such. Now, did I tell y'all? Let me tell y'all. I thought my summer was not going to be all that this year. I really, really did. I really, really did. But Tati done hooked us up. Me and Tati going to be going to some concerts for the summer. So, first of all, y'all know my birthday is on June the 19th, okay? Remember that day, June the 19th. And, you know, I live in Phoenix, Arizona, okay? June 19th, remember that day. Meg The Stallion is coming here on June the 19th. Okay, her concert is June the 19th. And Tati then bought us some tickets, okay? <laughs> front row, baby. Well, it's not really front row. It's the eighth row, but that's close enough. She done got us for that concert. And it was some other concert that she got us for. It was for R&B. I can't remember who it was. Um, Damn, Bryson Taylor. I think it was Bryson Taylor. But we also going to see Baby Shark, too, um, in concert for the kids. You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Tinky said he didn't want to go. But um, girl, if I'm excited to go see Baby Shark and you only nine... Dude, you gonna go see Baby Shark. He said he ain't wanna go. Um, he gonna wanna see Baby Shark with us. Cause if I gotta sit through Baby Shark, you sit through Baby Shark. And what kid don't like Baby Shark? I'm a grown ass woman and I love Baby Shark, okay? I don't know why I love Baby Shark, but um, I'm gonna see Baby Shark for the summer. I'm gonna do a couple more dabs of this concealer by She Glam. Girl, there's a way you gotta do this. You can't just like swipe. You gotta like dab, 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 dab. Like I said, I don't I don't really do makeup all the time. I really feel like it ages me. But not only does it age a person, I mean, not everybody is the same, but it also makes me very hot. It's hot out here in Arizona. I mean, it literally is really hot out here. And it just be feeling like the makeup will melt off of your face, okay? And I'm not really up for the melting of the skin and in my pores, so I really try not to wear makeup as much. It's about to be 100,000 degrees out here. And I've been getting in my walks in the morning, me and Pancake, because I had to I had to incorporate Pancake in this. Cause she's a little overweight. Mm-hmm. She is a little overweight. And I got to keep her around for as long as I can. But I don't know, y'all. I can't be wearing these shapewears during the summertime. It's too damn hot for that. Let me put my lashes on real quick without y'all. Uh -huh. Look at that. Now let me tell y'all, for one, I'm not the best at putting on lashes like strips. It takes me a minute. Like literally, it'll take me a minute. But I've got the hang of it because these is my eyes. You know what I'm saying? So one eye, I got to do a little bit different versus this eye. These is my eyes. Like, you know, I know my eyes. So anyway, I will tell you guys this. I am definitely not the best at putting eyeliner on. One eyeliner be out this way. The other one be up this way. Like, they both be looking good, but they just never match. So I like to get eyelashes that's on a clear band. Because when the eyelashes are on a clear band, honey, you don't need no eyeliner. You just put the shit on and you'll be good to go. I get so many compliments on these lashes. People be thinking that I go to the extension lash place and get them done. Uh, no, baby. These are from Amazon. I tell people this all the time. One lady swore up and down that I was lying. Why would I be lying? I had to give her the link. These are my favorite lashes, okay? And I know this is being sponsored by She Glam, but y'all been asking me, so I'm going to tell y'all. They are by this company called Fry Happy, okay? Fry Happy. I'll link it down below. But they look like this, all right? They look like this. Or they also look like this. I mean, like, they really don't look like this. This is the top. But this is a different style by the same company. 
You see what I'm saying? Then I got this one. They all a little bit different, but the thing about it is they all clear bands and they look so natural. Now, let me tell you, they're seven dollars and ninety nine cents. Um, and you get five pair. Plus, you get a little free pair too. You get a free pair of those little wispies. You also get some, you get this for free. Okay, you get a bag of these for free with it, and some hair ties and some bobby pins. I don't know why they're sending you all of that. Like, what do you want me to do with all of that? But I appreciate the free stuff. Let me tell y'all about these lashes, okay? Let me tell y'all about these lashes. They last, one pair will last me for like a month if I wear them every day. Like, literally, they are some good lashes. I even got these ones for free with it. And I love them so much because they really don't need any type of um, eyeliner. She Glam 2-in-1. These are 2-in-1 nose contour and highlight pens. They sent me four of them. Now, this one here, we're going to try them out. Y'all know I can't see, right? I can't see. So this is the cigar color. I never knew a color to be called cigar. This is the highlighter part. And it's a 2-in-1. Okay. That's the highlighter, and it, and it matches, and this is the color of cigar. That's the color cigar. A little bit dark for my nose. So we're going to go on to the next color. The next color is called Umber. Umber. U-M-B-E-R. Umber. And here goes the highlighter to it. So this is the color for the Umber. This is a lighter color. This is definitely not my shade. So the thing about these pencils are you're probably going to have to buy a couple of them just to get the right shade of highlighter that you would like. And this is the color Umber. Not a bad color. way too light for me to contour with. So this is definitely not a color for me when it comes to umber. These two, this one is definitely not my shade stick. The next color is chestnut, okay? So this is the highlight for chestnut. I might could work with that somewhere. I don't know. I might could. Let's see. Let's see the color for chestnut. And this is the brown for chestnut. This is looking like a good brown for me. All right, I might could do this brown right here. I don't know. I'm really feeling the first highlight, which was for Cigar. This color here was perfect. But we got one more to try out. And this one is called Buff. Now, I don't know about y'all, but Buff has always been like a really, really, really pale. This is the highlight for Buff. I mean, this is a really good color for your eyeshadow. I would definitely use this for eyeshadow. Hold on guys, I gotta go get my battery or my Okay, charger. so this is buff, which is like a really great color for like an eyeshadow concealer. Cause whose skin, who is using this as a highlight? You have to be real pale. And this is the color for it. Well, you can barely see that. Reminds me of this color. So, huh, I guess the one that is gonna work for me is going to be the one called Chestnut. Chestnut is this one right here, and it's, it actually really is going to be a good, cons it's just going to work, okay? So anyway, let's just give this a try. It's a two-in-one pencil, really cute. It's soft, okay? That's that's the number one thing. It's soft. So let's just see. Now, you know, I really don't contour my nose that much. I just don't. I just feel like I like my nose, you know? What can I say? And sometimes, like I said, I'm not that great at doing makeup, so... I just try to stick with what I know. Now, I'm going to be honest. This color, it looks almost like a cool color on my nose, but in my, my hand, it doesn't. So they do come off really easy. They're super soft, but let's just give this a try. I don't really know about this color brown because I really try to use um, more. This is a cool tone, and my browns be like a warm tone. Mmm, that didn't work out for me. That didn't. Let's try let's try this again, okay? Let's try this again. I'm gonna use something different to do the contour with. Let's see. I'm gonna draw like that on my nose because that's what I see them doing. I really don't like that shade. So I'm gonna go with the first one that we tried, which was this cigar, but I'm gonna use the concealer, the highlight from it because it's more or less my color. Well, I'm gonna even use it under my eyes. I mean, why not, right? Now I'm going to get my handy dandy brush that I love so much. First of all, let's let's pray because, girl, this better come out right. So I can only tell you how I feel about this color. All right, let's see. Yeah, this color brown is definitely not a brown for me because it's a cool color. And 
I don't do cool colors. The cool colors start to look like mud on my skin. If you can see that, it's not a good brown. It's a cool tone. So if you like cool tones, then this might be for you, but I am a warm tone person. I do, do not do cool tone um, concealers or I, I just do warm tones. That's all there is to it because, I'm, you know, I have yellow undertones, so they don't go well with cool tones. And I think all of these um, contour sticks were browns were a cool tone and it gives me like a muddy look. You see that how it's, it's, it's not it's not working for me, the colors. But I will say I like the whole concept. It's great to travel with, but See about the other color girl just messed up my whole entire look okay the second color was like a darker brown now see this is the color that i would put on this is the color um this is a warm tone you see the difference these are warm tones so i i, I always do warm tones That look pretty good. That look that that do look pretty good. Okay, that look pretty good. So I had to use the color, um, the second color. I had to use second color. I had to kind of like mix them because I really didn't like all of the concealers or the highlights. They didn't all go well. So to set it, I'm gonna use um, some setting powder real quick. So anyway, you guys. <laughs> I'm really not looking forward to doing no new try on videos. Girl, let me tell you, when I want to relax, I want to relax. I did not realize that the day was going by so quick. We're not going to let this sit on too long because I ain't trying to bake anything. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes, my bottom lashes, because, girl, I like them to be popping. And I love using this wand. I love the ball of it. Like, it gets precise on small lashes for the bottom. Getting ready, getting there, getting there, girl. I ain't trying to be all day with y'all, okay? Girl, I can't believe, like, look, I'm really literally going to just spend my birthday with Meg Thee Stallion, okay? Like, literally, I keep telling my daughter she best to bring a gift for me. I know she having her concert on that special day. The 19th of June, that is my day, okay? And it's also Juneteenth. But spending my birthday, my B-Day with Meg Thee Stallion, that's kind of cool. And I'm going to see Baby Shark. Listen, I'm definitely going to tell y'all about Baby Shark. You know we got to take Bad Girl, Bad Girl, to see Baby Shark. My lips is dry, girl. My lips is very dry right now. Make sure you drink water. Girl, when I tell you I like She Glam, I do like some of their stuff. They have some really nice stuff, like this blush right here. This is definitely a win. I've had this blush. You know, I gotta go light. I don't I don't go too hard because a girl come out looking like a street walker with some real pink cheeks, okay? I've had these blushes for a minute. When I say a minute, a minute. I mean, they blushes, like, but I love these blushes. And this one is my favorite, though, that I'm using right now. This one is definitely my favorite. It's called Seduction. But I like the pink in it because it's like a really light pink. And it kind of like got, goes into an ombre. But I really do like the blushes a lot. Now, look, now I'm kind of looking like somebody's circus clown. But we're going to fix that real quick. I'm going to just swipe off the extra. That contour do kind of look good on your girl. Let me put my face powder on. You know, I'm trying to really do different videos, you guys. Um, I know, like, a lot of you guys probably get tired of wig videos. And I'm not saying that I get tired of them. But, like, okay, they do start looking the same after a while. Not after the while, but it's like, how many wigs can you possibly do? You can do a lot of them, probably, granted. But after a while, it's like... Can you do something different? So I am trying to add different content and just talk to you guys more because I just feel like it's beneficial. Sometimes we be having stuff on our chest that we really need to get off. You know, a lot of people really don't like to go to the internet and talk. I'm not saying you have to spill the beans and tell all your business. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not what I'm here for. Like, I'm not about to tell y'all all my business because there are a lot of people out here that like to react on other people's lifestyles. And I get it. I'm the first to tell you. Well, I ain't the first to tell you because I didn't tell you this before. But I mean, I do like to listen to drama sometimes and I do like to listen to the shade because it's entertaining. But then after a while, when you constantly see the same person doing and talking about the same people every single day for the past four months, like every video of theirs is of the same individual. It's like, OK, you know what? I did like your videos at first. 
I really did. But now they are starting to seem obsessed with the person. I'll also be really wanting to talk to you guys at times and chit chat because I have things on my chest too. Y'all might not feel like I do. A lot of people say, oh, you so strong, you so strong. And I, and I get that. I appreciate that y'all think that I'm strong. And I try to be because if I don't, who else is going to be strong for me? If I came in and let the world take over, what's going to happen to me? Like, like literally, what's going to happen to me? Oh, I look cute today. So, oh, Tati's here. I can see her on the ring doorbell. So what's going to happen to me? Like, who's going to literally, like, be there? So, and I know my daughter, she got me. She will always be there for me, as well as I will always be there for her. But there are some days, girl, when I tell y'all that I just want to buckle down and just curl up in the bed and cry. Pick it. You're not going to go say hi to Tati? Pick it. Yeah, there you go. Well, say hi. So I really do think like being able to talk to people is very, it's very beneficial. It's ther therapeutic for one. Like y'all are not my therapist. I don't even have one anymore. I'm not saying that I don't need one because God knows we all could use a therapist at times. But I enjoy the time that I spend with you guys, chit chat with you guys and, and such. Even if it ain't about really much or nothing, it's about something. You, you know what I'm saying? So I, I get that. And a lot of people don't know how to express their their the emotions at time and that's okay too i try to express everything in like a civilized manner you, you understand what i'm saying if i try to really like analyze things and be civil to people i don't know i think like when you grow up and you get to be like a certain age in life you just try to do better i'm not saying i'm the best person in this world because god knows i'm not but i just really be trying to do better with my life and i really try to be in control of a lot of things like with my attitude and my demeanor now don't get it twisted i will bust a bitch ass if i need to but i really just don't feel like i want to do that anymore at the age of almost 50 i just feel like you know what i just be wanting peace in my life and sometimes when you bring too many people into your life it becomes like a really big huge drama effect and i don't really be wanting to be a part of that you know what i mean like granted I don't really have that many friends here in Arizona. And I know y'all know that because I say that all the time. And I was really so happy with the one friend that I did have. And trust me when I tell y'all, I do miss her. I really, really do. We had like a great time together. We would have fun together. Now that the summer is approaching, we did so much last summer. It's like, dang, friend, it's not even twin, friend, where have you been? I miss her. But I also had to realize that you have to put your foot down sometimes. You can't allow a person to walk all over you. And I don't know. It's not that I make friends easy. It's probably because I don't really go out as much as I used to. But, you know, it is what it is. But girl, anyway. So, enough about that. Because I'm not going to harbor over the past. Why does my one eyelash look better? Ha! Ah, we cannot mess up right now. You have to look cute for today, girl. Look, pull it together. Pull it together. I really do love these lashes. I will be honest and say, the older they get the better looking they are so these are only like a few days of wear when i say a few days of wear they're not even a week worth of wear i sometimes like to brush them like before i take them off the pack because they look different but once you get them if once you wear them for a couple like a week they start looking really good like really 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 good like seriously really good we're gonna get into these lip balms so they sent me three and the colors are ruby pink topaz and garnet lip balm a lip balm to me i thought would be more or less like a lip gloss oh this is so cute they have paw prints on them can y'all see that <gasps> look at that isn't that cute a little paw print oh and when you roll it up it's like see-through it's this so this is the garnet one it's like a it smells like jello it's like a jelly like look let's see what it looks like well it's like a clear color look at that you know what this reminds me of this is bringing me back to my childhood days when my mother used to go to Avon and buy me all those good ass fucking chapsticks that would smell and I would just be licking my lips all day. They didn't even taste like anything, but they smell so good. Now this will benefit for those. You know how you sit there and you be like this? You be just like smelling your upper lip. Like you want to know if your breath smell or whatever. If you have these, these are perfect. You could definitely smell these. They remind me of some Avon chapsticks. Oh, Mellow Jello. What did I just say? I said it smelled like Jello. Mellow Jello Nourishing Lip Balm. And the color is um, Garnet. This is cute. Okay, hold on, hold on. And the next one is Ruby. I don't know, should I take it off? Let's take it off. I like these. Cause look at this one. This is Ruby. Smell. Smells good. Look at the little paw prints. Isn't that cute? So this is Ruby. You can't go wrong with this. 
It gives you just like a little hint, a tint, a color. I guess the more you put on, the more color you're going to get. I, right now, I'm feeling like somebody's Jazabelle with this color on my lips. I don't know. I don't really like this color too much on me. Now, the last color is, what is it called again? Pink Topaz. They all smell, this smell like strawberry. Mellow Jello Nourishing Lip Balm. I'm gonna be honest, they all kind of look the same. This might not be as pink as the other, the, the ruby color, but I'm gonna be honest. I think the first one I like the most, which was Garnet, and I might be wrong, let's see. Because this is Pink Topaz. This is what I would like to wear on my lips all day. Okay, we're going to go back to Garnet, right? Yep. Yeah, they kind of all look the same, to be honest. I bet you it depends on your lip color, too, okay? So this was it. This was something easy. These is perfect for a girl who don't really like to wear too much lipstick. And I just be want my lips to be popping. You know, like when my lip gloss is popping, I just be want my lips, my lips to be popping. Like a little shiny. I don't want them dry. I keep some Vaseline in my car, you know what I mean? It really don't take much for me to look good, okay? I'm gonna just say that, you know? I'm just messing with y'all. But it don't really take much for me to be happy. I like basic, simple stuff. I, I just don't really like to put on makeup every day. I really don't like to put on makeup. I don't feel like I need to go out there looking like I'm I'm about to go to a party all the time. You know, a little lip gloss, a little Vaseline, stuff like that. That That's my steel, that's my style. Now I'm about to put on this ponytail, you guys. Um, But you definitely have to check these out. These were cute. I think this was my favorite out of what they sent me. A good old lip balm never hurt nobody. You know, carry them in your purse. You'll definitely be nice and glossed up. I think my top lip is disappearing, y'all. Like, literally. Because I know my top lip was bigger than this. I don't know. Y'all look like my lips is disappearing, y'all. Maybe I better learn how to line my lips so I can give myself some extra lip because this is not it. Definitely not. Well, I guess it's time for me to go ahead and put on these damn clothes. <sighs> what was me? But at least I got my ponytail on, so that way I ain't got to worry about being too hot, too overworked, too pressed, and I don't know, too stressed too, okay? And a ponytail always looks good. I love some wigs, but honey, I can't wear them. It, it be too hot out here. I'm not about to stress myself out wearing no wig and making no wig stay on. I can't do it. How'd that look? Man. Well, I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all let me know how, how it came out and what y'all thought of this lip gloss, lip balm. Okay, y'all. So everything will be down below. Y'all know I got to go because I'm on a time crunch. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks for listening to me ramble on just about anything and nothing. Okay. Yeah, girl. I hope y'all have like a really good day. I will see y'all in the next one. Okay. Control